agreed on it. You said you'd do everything in your power to save Bibi. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's the threat. This is the woman in the mask who's done nothing but lie to me. I forgot to tell you. It's about managing your BB stress levels and reducing the risk of autotoxemic attacks. There are a few things you can do if your BB starts showing signs of distress. Such as? Such as take a moment to look after it. Cradle the pot, gently rock it, that sort of thing. Out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, bleed through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pot. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. All weapons will remain locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. While you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Corellium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Suggest it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and are frequently found in formations resembling human handprints, surrounding rocks and debris. 
tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Order assigned. <gasps> Restrictions lifted. Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors.
down. Scanning bridges. Sam. Clear. Chiral crystal Weapon deliveries are a little different from usual. The process is pretty simple, though. Access the delivery terminal to drop off any chiral crystals you're carrying. Sam, the area around that distro center has produced a significant quantity of chiral crystals. Matter of fact, that's where the chirelium used in your Cupid's internal circuitry came from. They have a range of applications, including equipment fabrication. Bottom line, they're a valuable resource and one you'll want to make the most of. I'll let Hartman explain in more detail, but chiral crystals don't exactly grow on trees. If you see any deposits, you should go out of your way to gather them. Especially... Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. These local... Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with timefall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. BC. There is a correlation between elevated corellium levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. 
If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is, can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Still got work to do, Sam. Let's not keep people waiting. Weapons restrictions lifted. Hello? Hello. Hello. Uh, Sam? Seems like that bike's auto-charging unit is busted. If you want to take it for a spin, you'll need to use a generator to give it some juice. Restrictions lifted. Bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. All clear. <laughs> Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Good for now. Call it a rule or a hat, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful, these guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Drop sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise. Heads up, Sam. Distro Center staff's got a favor to ask. Probably best I start from the beginning. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
damn addicts chasing a cargo high. Shame we gotta deal with their bullshit at all. Back in the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. Made jobs no one really needed and gave them to folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo-chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next porter. Make sure you're not him. Shoes holding up. Not too well, I imagine, conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. to a chiral printer, an extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine, that it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. New order available. 